अरे यार बाई द टाइम दिस लोच एम प्रिटी श्योर आई वुड फिनिश राइटिंग एन एंटायर नॉवल वॉट ऑफ एबल दिस बर्थ है वेलकम बैक टू एट इन दीडियो आई होप आर नॉट टेकिंग सो मच ऑफ ए टाइम टूडे बट आई वोट बी डूइंग अ वेरी शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट वीडियो वे आई वोट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉप फाइव फ्लट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट यू कैन डू इफ यू आर होम एंड यूर क्वारंटाइन एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू गाइज डोंट हैव एनीथिंग एल्स टू डू इफ यू फील दैट वे आई एम गोट बी हेल्पिंग यू गाइज आउट टूडे एंड आई गोट बी गिविंग यूर गाइज आउट फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट फ्लट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स आई एम प्रिटी श्योर ऑल ऑफ दीज आर पॉसिबल आई हैव डन थ्री ऑफ दैम and i have two more to do so hopefully you guys would know to do it share me the code we can all have some fun here all right let me get in this straight into this video with the first project that i have in my mind okay now like i guess you can see to my right here i'm going to be talking with the first project in my mind which is the movies app so i did do a little bit of a slight movies application which was actually nothing but a shorter mini version of imdb and i didn't do anything much here i just took the imdb api i made it into a light version i did not have lot of other things to add here just the movie name followed by the reviews that is going to be the top 10 reviews or something that i tried having uh, i tried playing with that and it was really easy to do so basically what you need to do is this is a very simple project again so all you have to do is make a rest call to the uh, api from the imdb api it's available online even though if you don't have any imdb api you could think about rotten tomatoes or all the other openly publicly available api so make use of the api and you can actually show the lighter version of uh, imdb type of version that you can show reviews you can show the movie title and all of that so it's really really fun i did try about doing this around 3 4 months ago and it did work back then so if you guys are looking to have a startup project this is going to be a startup project have a simple ui make sure that you had lot of different fun and color elements to your application and i would say this is in the beginner level right now so i'm going to be giving it a one star out of five stars considering how easy it is you could have say five six hours at a time together in your in your day sit together and complete this and you can have it in your profile as well so it's going to be great addition to your portfolio so that's why i had it at the first position so make sure you do this and let me know what you think about it in the comment section All right the second one in the list is actually a very simple and also super cool sleep applications so what exactly are the sleep applications as you can see in the play store that's that it's it's bombing right now in both play store as well as your apple store uh, where you that is an application that's going to help you in sleeping in less than 20 minutes or 30 minutes so it's going to be like an assisted way of sleeping and these are very important application again these are actually bombing right now in the play store and i did try something with that and i tried some creating something up with application even though i couldn't go to the end and finish it and launch it into play store it was it was a great great project to do so so what exactly is the sleep application how do you, how can you create it using flutter well flutter is going to have give you guys so many useful ui widgets and tools and you can be making use of that and the second one is that these sleep applications are nothing but assisted voice or assistant music that's going to be playing in the background and this is going to be just going giving you guys a simple continuous rhythm so that you guys go into sleep faster so we, in order to do that you would have to definitely play with audio files so this application is going to be a given a two star from me right now because you need to have to have a little bit of understanding about the audio files and you also have to understand about the different ui widgets you can create your own animations in that different animation controllers that's it's going to be really cool If you are planning to do so, I would very, very highly recommend you guys to take a look at these applications that I have put in the App Store. These are somewhat um, awesome applications that I tried myself, using myself, and these have been really, really helpful. And also at the same time, these are also very, very good in terms of uh, giving you guys a very good animation to the application. So this is aesthetically very, very nicer. So this is going to be a two-star application. If you have anywhere from two to three days. you can definitely complete this application and it's going to be great addition to your portfolio if you are going to create one third on my list is actually another application which i personally tried developing but i couldn't complete it again so i had some fun in creating this application which is nothing but a simple tracker now this tracker is not going to be a any anything but a simple tracker it's actually very very complex in terms of creating multiple rest api calls So what exactly is the application going to be about? It's going to be about uh, your favorite, uh, say for example, release out there. Let's say that you're a really fan, a big fan of a Tesla product, uh, or you go, you are a really big fan of an iPhone product or uh, iOS product or say an, any Apple product, right? So what you can do is you can actually make use of the available REST API calls, or there could be any other API calls, JSON API calls, which is out there, and plug into that and create a real-time history feed. 
Now, these are not simple applications in the, if it might look like a simple application in the outset, but let's say that you're creating, a, for example, say a, a Tesla tracker. Now, there is going to be a lot of different news articles out there about Tesla. When you type into Google, I want to know about Tesla or Tesla cars, you can see that there are a lot of different uh, articles coming out. Now, what you have to do is start working on these news articles, do some web scrapping out there and bring about a very content, very up-to-date content about the favorite product that you're going to track. This application that you're going to create using Flutter is just going to do that. But that additional complexity comes when you, when you have to go and scrap the web every single day. Now you could have a different, uh, maybe different way of doing this, or you might have a different idea about doing this, but this is what something I tried when I wanted to learn about Flutter news up to date. So when I wanted to learn about the Flutter news up to date around the world, I went to the Google news, I typed Flutter news, uh, uh, which is going to be about today. And when I went into a news tab, I started getting all the news articles from there. And using that, I started scrapping the web for content. Whichever seemed relevant, I would actually put it into a simple text block in a Flutter app and I would show it to the user. So that way, there is going to be a very up-to-date uh, Flutter content or Flutter related articles that the user can read. These are not just going to be about articles as such, not links to articles, rather these are going to be text content that's going to tell something about the, your favorite release. So it's going to be really complex as well as a cool project to do, which is why I'm going to be giving it a three star. Why three star? Because I wouldn't say that scrapping the web is a very complex thing. There are a lot of different tools out there, but you have to depend on an external script to do that. The Flutter itself cannot do that. So you would have to create a simple server and the server has to keep on doing this for you and pushing the content back to the application where else you just can show it to the user. So that's going to be the whole idea and design behind this. If you're interested to do that, you definitely is going to be great addition to your portfolio. I would say this is actually more than three star. I would even say 3.5 star. So the 3.5 star application right in your doorstep, make sure you grab the opportunity. If you have any from six to seven days and you think that this is going to be a great addition to my portfolio as well, definitely check this project out. I have done a bit of a project. I mean, I have done a pack framework around that. I've put that in the description. Check out the GitHub link. If you find it useful, you can definitely fork it and continue doing that. If you don't, create your own framework. Already all of people, so the third, the fourth project right now, so we completed three projects right now, we have seen the different uh, complexities out there as well. The fourth project is going to be about not just your filter application, not, not your mobile application. It's more about an web-based application which is a, it's got a great upside potential. Now, web is the most and oldest form of communication out there in terms of internet. Even before there was documents, we had web, web pages and all of that sort. So people still go type something in Google and they don't find an application immediately. They just find something related to a web URL. I have great respect for web, web apps out there that do a lot of free stuff for people. One such that I very frequently use is to convert, say, a, a video into a GIF, or it could be even a simple PNG into a JPEG, or it could be even something like remove background or remove a back, white background so that I can put out faster YouTube thumbnails. So all of these are going to be very, very useful. And also these are free pro projects that people are doing out there. So what really happens is that these get ranked in a Google search engine and people go and do their uh, work in these web apps. And once these web apps are done their work, they just give out a uh, user output. For example, uh, in this example, I would refer definitely require a GIF and I'll just download this GIF and I'm done out there. People even make a lot of money doing this. Uh, for example, this one page, which is nothing but the remove.bg is something that's been frequently used. And I mean, it is known uh, a URL for people to, to remove their backgrounds faster. So this, I would say this via page alone with just a simple web app earns upwards of $5,000 a month just on uh, your ads. So in that case, I would highly, highly recommend you guys to try something out in terms of a web app for Flutter. One such application that I have in mind is the something like, say for example, you want to create a free version of PDF converter, or you want to create something that is going to be, for example, XLS2 and I don't know, for example, a PDF, I don't know, like some converters out there, which would definitely require a third party or some other language like Dart or Python. So when you have Dart or Python script running in the background, doing the conversion for you, but your Flutter web app is going to be giving out the UI elements for the user to interact with your application. And that's going to be a great project as well. So you're going to, you can even host it in your GitHub for free. 
and you can even do the check this link out because i've put that as well in one of the videos where i've told you guys how to deploy a flutter web project to the url so you can do that and even get people to sign up for your uh, say for example whatever you want them to sign up for and these are great ways to actually build something up for your portfolio as well so flutter web app is going to be doing something that is people are looking for continuously and it's, it's also going to be a little bit complex so i definitely give this a four star considering that you need to have an additional understanding of dart or python and all of the conversions as well so it's going to be a complex one so if you have 10 10 days time i think you definitely have 10 days time in your hands you can definitely check this out and definitely let me know how feasible it turns out to be i do have a little bit of scripts to do this i mean i have a python script to convert uh, your pdf to your doc i also have a python script to combine multiple excel files into one file it's a very simple python script which i have i can definitely give you guys the link is in the description check that out you can do that and you can use that to start building your flutter web app and you can definitely let me know how it turns out to be all right so we are at the fifth application that you want me to discuss to you guys right now and i'm going to be discussing about that in brief so the one application that i very every every day that i use is the notes application on the mac so i write a lot of things on the note application in my mac and it automatically gets synced to my iphone notes app so since I, I use the same user account on both my mobile devices and as well as desktop devices, this app, this app is capable of syncing these things for me and it's a great, great way of keeping myself up to date. I almost put down all, all my ideas into my mobile if I have my notes app open and I can see that in real time also in my notes application in desktop. So that's a great way of actually connecting people in just desktop as well as mobile phone. Now what are you going to do with this, uh, this simple idea out there? The first one is that there is a desktop preview for Mac. So you have a desktop beta application that's being developed. And I did do a video on that again. You can check that out if you're interested. So when you have a desktop beta application that's going to be developed using Flutter, what do you think about creating a desktop application followed by a mobile application that's going to sync a lot of things for you? One such thing is that I would definitely require is to have a to-do list type of an application or it may be an action based application that I would enter in say for example if I have a desktop right in front of my eyes I would just enter something in my desktop saying that I need to do this at 6 p.m. today and I would just close my desktop I'd go I would always have my phone with me so what happens is that when at 6 p.m. it's going to give me an alarm saying that you have to do this and you enter it in your desktop so if it's going to be applicable for you make sure that you do that it's a great way of connecting people across devices and across platforms and it's going to be a it's definitely a five-star project if you're going to attempt that it might take anywhere from 20 days i mean 15 to 20 days for sure because it's a great way of developing for one platform followed by the same application for another platform followed by having a background uh, firebase or maybe any any background server as well so it's going to be a great application it's going to be great as well in terms of giving you guys the weightage in your portfolio if you're definitely trying to do that and that's why i'm going to be having it as my fifth project and as, as well as my five star project in this list of five top applications that you can build in your quarantine period all right so that's it for this video i hope you guys had a good understanding of all the different things that i did discuss in this video if you have any doubt you can definitely let me know in the comment section below i'd be very happy to answer all of your questions hopefully let me meet in the next video and uh, with some of you with an answer or maybe uh, develop an application let me know that as well in the comment section you can discuss about that in detail let me meet in the next video on let's peace out have a super awesome day